This is you. You wake up every day and hope that you will start learning JavaScript. You hop into Google and search for a JavaScript roadmap. And after seeing this shit, you get off the PC and you go back to bed and watch half naked Instagram girls till you fall asleep. It's time to change this shit. It's time to grind, bro. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Okay, no more drama, let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to tell you the best front-end JavaScript roadmap in case you're lost and trying to find your way out of the light. Now in this video, I'm not gonna pay attention to the details, like, oh, learn Jest, React Test and Library, and become the full package. Hell no, I'm going to tell you the essentials, and after that, you will figure out the rest. Before we get into it, if you have any questions, I will talk to you personally on Instagram, literally for free, just DM me, I don't have much followers, so I will be able to answer as soon as possible. Also, you will find all the links for free courses for everything in this video in the description below. Let's begin. You have two ways of learning JavaScript. One way is the fast way, where you skip a lot of things just to get a job as fast as possible. And the second way is to start by learning the basics and never skip any topic. Before I tell you the steps, let me talk about how many hours a day you should study and how much it'll take you to get a job. Also, I want to talk about the pros and cons for each method. The pros of the first way is that you will get a job as soon as possible, even in less than a year and that's it no more pros for this method the pros of learning slow is that you will have a strong understanding on everything you learn and you will be better at problem solving also you will make your chance of getting a job a lot higher now the cons of the first way is that you can't have a full and strong understanding of what you're doing you're just doing the task that you should be doing also your chances of getting a job is way lower when you learn this way because most of the companies want someone who has a strong understanding of the fundamentals so he can be better at problem solving and your chances of getting yourself fired is also a lot higher but don't worry i'll tell you how to survive if you are in a hurry Let's talk about the timing. The slow way could take you anywhere from 9 months to 3 years of consistent learning. Sounds depressing, right? Well, if you're just a student and have much time, this will be one of the best decisions in your life. Now, the fast way could take you anywhere from 3 months to 6 months. Of course, depending on how many hours a day you study and if you're a fast learner or not. Now, what is the steps? For the fast way, you will have to immediately learn HTML5 and CSS3 and this process should not take any longer than 2 weeks. Now you've learned your HTML and CSS, it's time for JavaScript. Learn the basics of programming in JavaScript and this shouldn't take any longer than a week if you have experience in tech, but if you don't, let it take what it takes. Learn Git, GitHub, the Git commands. Now skip the DOM and jump into React or Vue or Angular, depending on where you are and which one is more in demand in your area. Let's take react for example first learn the basics what is components hooks etc and skip redux and skip class-based components now you know the basics learn tailwind css it shouldn't take any longer than a week learn material ui also one week now it's time to fill your portfolio go to youtube and start searching for react projects and build at least three large front-end projects but do not follow the tutorial if you do not understand pause the tutorial and go search for anything you don't understand understand and learn it now search for a good portfolio website on the internet and code it or create your own please change the title and the icon of your projects now start applying for every job possible freelance companies internship literally anything you find and hopefully you will get accepted after that you will need to take a step back and slow down your learning since you got a job it's time to improve yourself start learning the things you skipped such as what is the internet how does it work learn the DOM, learn TypeScript, you can get into Next.js. All the things that I said means you shouldn't study less than 7 to 10 hours a day. If you do have time, of course. If you don't, then I can expect you to learn at least for 3 to 5 hours a day. Now we talked about the fast way. Let's talk about the slow way, also the best way. First, HTML and CSS. Second, vanilla JavaScript, DOM. Third, choose a CSS framework. I recommend you Tailwind CSS for the styling and material UI for the UI elements. Also, you can go for Bootstrap. After that, you're gonna learn JavaScript frameworks. I recommend React, but again, it depends on your area. After you done learn in React, go ahead and build a couple projects. Just basic apps. Just focus on functionality, like a to-do app, a simple shopping cart. Again, use Google and YouTube. Do not memorize code, cause no one does. After that, you have a couple projects. Learn how to deploy them. I personally use GitHub pages for vanilla JavaScript and Netlify for React apps. Learn the Git commands. After that, you wanna import all 
all your good projects into GitHub, and any project you make in the future should be synced with GitHub 24-7. Now it's time to get serious. Get into TypeScript. I know it's hard as fuck. You need to learn it. Take your time. Try to practice more. Now I know a lot of people say, give up tutorials and code on your own. Don't fall into tutorials hell. Like, where the fuck am I supposed to learn if I'm just starting? Be realistic, bro. Watch coding tutorials and code on your own at the same time. But how? Well, I don't know. Just kidding. Let me tell you. Open up a tutorial, code along with him. Make sure you understand every single functionality he wrote. Now, there are things you're not gonna understand. So take that thing you didn't understand and Google it. Let's take an example. You're watching a React tutorial and he used Context API, but you didn't get it. So go to Google or YouTube and write Context API tutorial and watch it. That's it. Pretty simple. Now I have some bad news. When you usually ask a developer, is coding hard? He will answer, no, you need to focus. Work hard, work smart, take your time. Well, that's bullshit. The real answer is that coding is so fucking hard that will make you almost quit. But it doesn't mean it's for smart people only. Don't just say, oh, coding is for only smart people. It's not made for me. If you say that, I'm gonna come to you and slap you in your face but don't worry all developers feel the same way from time to another so once you feel like giving up remember that coding is actually not easy but it requires time and patience so take two days off and then get back now one other thing i want to talk about is you need to take times off like seriously you're not the super saiyan and just want to work 24 7 yes work hard but also work smart i suggest you take one to two days a week off just to relax and enjoy i'm not gonna say hang out with a friend you know because i don't have friends to hang out with so play video games watch youtube or just lay and relax and that's it for today don't forget to hit the like button and click the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video